What's up guys, thanks for stopping in for another video. So this is pretty much the, the notable stuff that I picked up over the past few weeks. Um, there's some retro stuff in here, but some of the like Switch and PS4 stuff, you guys should really keep your eye out for because it's probably not going to be around forever and when it's gone, it's probably going to shoot up in price. It, at least that's what I think. Anyway, okay, first game. Wild Arms 5. I could have bought this maybe a dozen times over the years. This isn't one I see often. And it's weird because it came with this box. So, yeah, the case doesn't even have Wild Arms on the side or Wild Arms 5. Um, I, there, was a, there was a comic book store in, uh, in West Baltimore that actually had this with the box. Um, it was like 100 bucks at the time. This was a few years ago. But, I, you know, I wanted it. But I was like, eh, they're selling it for eBay price. So I passed on it. And I, that was pretty much the case every other time that I saw this game. But I don't know. I just got this at a trade at the flea market a few weeks ago. And now I own it. Wild Arms 5. Okay. All right, next game. Got this yesterday as of the recording of this video. Uh, God Hand, I've heard great things about this beat em up. I actually just started playing this this morning, and uh, I do plan on streaming this, you know, hopefully soon. Um, I got this for a hundred bucks in trade. Uh, this is complete. Uh, I never see this, so I'm glad I have it now. But anyway, God Hand. Just wanted to throw those out there. Okay, now we're getting into the stuff that I want. Well, we'll get into that in a minute, but. Okay, so here we have a Switch game. We have Illmatic Envelope and Rattergy Swag. Now, Rattergy Swag was supposed to come out, and it's it's out digitally on the eShop for the Switch, but it was supposed to come out by Dispatch Games, the people that did Savariar Delta. Um, but apparently their business went under. The, the, there was pre-orders for Rattergy Swag. This version is Rattergy Swag and Illmatic Envelope. The U.S. version, or the one that Dispatch Games was supposed to put out physically, was just going to be Rattergy Swag. So I would recommend, even if they didn't go under, which I think they are, um, I would recommend this one anyway because it has that bonus game. And I thought that, I mean, look at that cover. For those of you that have played Sakura Flamingo Archives, doesn't that cover kind of remind you of it? I know that that game is not in here, but... Um, I don't know. That's just a such a crazy remix of a bunch of milestone shooters. But I guess this, nah, I guess maybe it kind of is too. At least not Rattergy Swag, but maybe Nomadic Envelope. But um, anyway, yeah, you can find that on PlayAsia. Okay, all right, next game. Okay, Sturmwind. I'm trying to get these out of the way so I can show you guys the ones that I'm like really, really excited about. Um, Sturmwind EX. Uh, what's it? Picks and Love, I think, published this. I think that's the the website I got this on. But anyway, I, here's my original copy of Sturmwind for the Dreamcast. Um, this is like a $30, $40 game. Hell, I think it still is. But when I saw that there was, I, I did download this digitally. That's why I ha this is still sealed. But when I saw this was available for pre order physically, you know, I had to get it. You know, I'm just, if anything, I got to have them shooters, right? Or at least most of them anyway. There's still a bunch of them I need. But anyway, Sturmwind EX on the Switch. And another one, I played this for a little while. This isn't really a shooter, it's more like a twin stick shooter, but. This is a Heaven's Machine. It's one of those super rare games. But interesting thing about this on their website, this was listed as physical only with no download on the eShop. So that kind of sucks. But uh, yeah, it's, uh, I mean, what I saw of this, it looked cool. What I played of it is... Uh, eh. <laughs> if any of you guys like, really, really want this, I checked out eBay. It's not like crazy expensive yet, but... I did order two copies because it was only like 30 bucks. So I got an extra one in case somebody like had to have it. But anyway, Heaven's Machine. Okay. All right. Now we're getting. All right. I'll just show this one first. Okay. Here we go. Dang and Feverin. Or I guess that's Japanese for dance fever, right? Cave shooter. One of the greatest cave shooters. The soundtrack is incredible. Hence the collector's edition here. I've had this on my PS4 for quite some time. I do believe this came out here in the arcades here in the u.s i could swear to god when i was a kid there was an arcade and i played this cave shooter right here a u.s version right here i'm, I'm almost positive i could be wrong but anyway i don't know why i have this wrapped in plastic oh yeah because i have uh came with the card so i just had to had to save the the card and throw it in there but for those of you that don't know um and also those of you that have stores that sell like the limited run games and you know stuff like that in your area they they are going to have this in the stores although i did order this from limited run the stores that do carry limited run games i mean they should they should have this and 
for those of you that really want it, um, I'm sure you can probably find it online or in Video Games New York or eBay, but for those of you that, that can't find it in those places, I could probably find this physically, not this version, but at least the standard edition, I could probably find it physically for you for retail, maybe, but that's for those of you that I, that I fuck with heavy, you know what I mean, but... Anyway, Dagon Feverin, uh, which I, I guess is Dance Fever in Japanese, right? But anyway, on the PlayStation 4. All right, all right, next two. These are not shooters, but super excited about them. These are beat em ups. Okay, so the first one is, uh, man, this, all right, so here we go. Take, right, I'm getting ahead of myself. Hunt Down. The Hunt Down. This is the collector's edition of Hunt Down. This was uh, this was announced real late one night to be on Limited Rum's website, and it was like that same night or the very next day there was a pre-order for it, and it was extremely limited. I think there might have been a thousand or fifteen hundred of these for the Switch, and like seven hundred of them for the PS4. Um, again, I own this digitally, so I haven't opened this yet. Although I, I will because I want to take the soundtrack off of this. The soundtrack is actually on cassette on this game, and I have one of those things where you can take a cassette pop it in and like rip it into an mp3 i got a record player thing that does that too but i do plan on doing that and there's like the patches for all the gangs that are uh in this game that look awesome i, I had to have this i had to have this but the thing with this is there was a there was a retail release for this um and it's extremely cheap so again i don't i try not to do this often but here's a ps4 version of a retail version i mean it's 30 bucks and the switch version is the same thing so I don't think the Switch version comes with a cardboard box like this. I think it's just like a regular Switch case, but it's still it's 30 bucks. So you guys, if you see this in your store, get it. I, this thing's not going to be around forever. This is an excellent run and gun shooter. I mean, it's it's 30 bucks physically. So I I I don't think you can pass up on it. I mean, if you're into run and gun shooters, it's it's a must own. Okay, the last one. This is the one I'm the most excited about. I, mean, I got some pretty heavy hitters right here, at least in my opinion. Okay. Next one, again, I try not to own Switch and PS4 versions of games. I try not to do it, but here's another one I just had to do it. Here we go. Takeover on Switch and PS4. Now, this is the one I pre-ordered. And, uh, you know, I'm like, man, I love this beat em up. It's so great. Okay, like if you guys liked Raging Justice, but you're like, ah, Raging Justice is good, but it's just not, it's not as great as it could be. Well, this is this this bumps it up a notch. The takeover is is excellent, and I wanted the best performance out of this game, so that's why I got the the PS4 version. I guess that's retail. Um, you know, just press play out in PA. I mean, they got copies of it. If you guys need it, you know, they got copies for sale. As a matter of fact, I love this game so much that they actually have a collector's edition on the Switch. There, it's ninety bucks. I'm thinking about getting it, but if I do, I probably have to sell some stuff. I got some stuff I'm going to take to the flea market today. So if I do well at the flea market, um, I got a doctor's appointment today too. If all that goes well and I'm feeling good about myself, maybe I'll go get the collector's edition. That way I can get the soundtrack for the takeover. Anyways, guys, this is pretty much all the highlights of the stuff I've got over the past few weeks. I appreciate you guys touching base with me. Till next time, guys. Peace. A lot of things are running through my mind, most of the time. I'll ask a question, one more chance to save my mind. I beat the militant, my master making moves the mess. The type of nigga locking down buildings to sling the tenants. Who want it? I'll fuck you from my rooftop, blunt it. Simple-minded niggas is carbon copies that's running. You look at me, I still throw ya. Killer illa. Wet you like a net of the blood spiller, the still chiller. Cold cell, cast a spell, live it well. I kept the faith, carried this weight for cash and cakes. Legal criminal, imbecile, vindicated, apprehended. Illustrated my situation on paper and let off.